and it's picked up by Karasevic. Moves it up for Mafus all alone. Nichols dives. Payne lets oh. it go through, and Mafus has tied the game at one. Ahmed Mafus, goal number 28. That's second on the team behind Luke Klicek's 31, but Mafus ties it up at one apiece. He was caught at the blue. He was at the blue line. He went in alone, and he got. I thought he might get dragged down. The defenseman was right on his butt, and I thought he might pull him down. And actually, it really wasn't a shot by Mafus. It was more of a reader. He was just trying to get it away from the goalie, but the goalie lost track of it, and it just so happened to go into the net. So, to go into the net. So, it, it it doesn't matter how it gets there as long as it gets there, and it did. And we're tied at one. 8-13 now left in the Demons look for the first lead of the game as Karasevich handles it, tries to get it over, but it's now for Watt. Watt with a shot, Watt with a goal! Terry Watt with his first goal as a Dayton Demon and his first goal on the season. Two to one, Dayton Demons. Actually, you're gonna give the credit. The credit to that goal is gonna be to Ahmed Mafus because he ended up deflecting that in off a of Watt shot because that shot was actually gonna go wide and Mafus got it right on there. So Mafus scores within, what is it, 10 seconds? <laughs> uh, about nine, actually. Not about nine seconds, so uh, I think Mafus is gonna get credit for that goal as well because he ended up touching it. So two goals in nine seconds from the player of the month. Now to Hill it goes. Hill surrounded by four blue jerseys, maintains the puck, tries to get to Metz. Metz has it. Braden Metz tries to shove it back. It's now for Fleecheck to Hill. Hill dumps it in, and the Demons reclaim the lead. Three to two. Jason Hill with his 20th goal on the season. I think Payne was expecting it to go behind the net, and Hill was behind the net, caught it. Payne had gone to the other post, and Hill went to it from behind the net and was able to stuff it right past him. You know, and that was actually great heads up play by Hill. To, to catch Payne off guard like that and um, and beat him around there to get it, um, to beat him to that near post and make him think that that puck was gonna go around and he did. With everything that they've gone through, they're, they're fighting hard and I'll tell you something, they've been in every game since they've gotten to this new look. So they should be very, very proud of themselves. Shot tries to clear it out, there is that was Watt sending it up as Ronsberg gets slammed into the boards with one hand of number four in reverse, James reverse. Back over for the Demons. Demons have the puck, Felton moves it up. Shot, shot to Felton. Felton spins around, dumps it in! Jesse Felton gives Dayton their biggest lead on the night. A spin around, turn around, shock him in. And it's now four to two, Demons. Yeah, he he had time to go and he had time to go the forehand if he wanted to, but he thought he'd give it a shot from the backhand, and that probably was a better better choice because I think he caught everybody. He caught Payne off guard there. I think that was great. It's now back for Fleecheck. Fleecheck tries to get it in for Hill. Payne with the door. He'll slam it shut, and New York. Looks to maintain it, there's Metz, and the lights go off, and the refs say, give Braden Metz a goal. For Metz, that would be number 21, and it's now five to two, Dayton Demons. Tremendous feed from behind the net to Metz right on the forehand. It was absolutely tremendous, just very, one time, I mean, there was no handling, and Metz got it right on the forehand, and he, Pushed it right to the net and he got it done. So that was absolutely um, uh, what you need to do, especially when you're that tight, is to get the pressure onto the net like that. And uh, Mets did exactly what he needed to do. I want to see who fed him the puck from behind. Now the Felton. Felton over to Ronsberg. Ronsberg near the slot, trying to shake the pursuing Chris Hassler. Puck has lost their shot. He'll set it in! Lucas shot from the blue line, count it, six to two Dayton, and for shot, that is his 13th goal as a Dayton Demon. Great congestion in front, I kind of blocked Payne's view, and 
shot put it on the net. It was, it, you just, you net, what you really got to do is just put the puck on the net, and sh that's exactly what shot did. He had a lot of congestion in front, and he had a little trouble picking it up. I don't think it was tremendously hard. It wasn't that hard, but shot was able to put it on net. And, and you never know what happens if you put it on net, and you get goals, and you have a four-goal lead. 15 seconds now left in our second period. Right behind Barton, and the Demons look to clear it out here. It's Santala moving it forward. There are the Demons with it. It's to Karasevich. Hey! First. Trevor Karasevich with his first goal as a Dayton Demon, and the Demons lead 7-2. to two. League leading, League's leading the assist man scoring points, and he's in a Demons uniform, and it's his first goal, as you mentioned. Tremendous play, great tic-tac-toe play. He's he showed what he gave us his fits when he was with Williamsport, and now he's now he's on our side. Great stuff, great stuff from Trevor. Uh, welcome to Dayton, Trevor Kreisowitz. Seven to two, Demons. Fifteen forty-seven left to go in our third period. Pila, but it will be wrestled away for the Demons. 11.40 left to go in our third period. Dayton seven, New York two. Metz with a shot, it'll bounce towards the left of the net. Back to Metz, it goes near the slot. He almost falls, it trips up a bit. And the second chance goal is in. How about that one for the vet? Luke Fleecek flicks it in. And it's now eight to two, Dayton. It all started with Metz at the point and Metz Kind of lost his balance, but he was able to, and he almost gave it up a two-on-one going the other way, and he ended up, he was able to swat it away, got it over there, and then the uh, and and get it over to Flea Check to be able to beat um, beat Payne and uh, Demons. Oh, on the far side for Wiley, he'll pass it up in front, and the Demons look like they're running their power play. Strategy. There's Ronsberg. He's wide to the right of the New York goalie. Halfway through the third period, Dayton eight, New York two. Felton wants to make that nine to two, and he will assist in that. How about Lucas Shot putting in his second goal on the night? His first one in the second period, and Dayton leads nine to two. That was a great play, but found the fleet or Felton to uh, Ronsberg going. Drawing them behind the net, and that's a couple of goals like that tonight where we've, they've drawn uh, Payne's, att Payne's attention to behind the net and uh, been able to put it out front and, and beat him quickly. So um, they've been able to, to, to draw him out and doing that, and that was just uh, absolutely tremendous play. And Racevich tries to knock it away, but there is New York with a sense of urgency. That's Tila trying to hand it over towards his right. That's number 20, Mendelssohn. We did not see Mendelssohn the first time versus New York. Racevich to Mafus. Racevich. No, Patriello! Goal! Patriello! 10 to 2, Dayton! Patriello with goal number. 13 on the season. He puts it up and in. And the Demons lead by eight. 9.36 left to go in the game. Great moving the puck around. It was just absolutely tremendous. Petriello, one time, no, reba no rebounds. I've been able to tuck those away first time. It's just absolutely um, back to Demons hockey, what they're used to. 